What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I wanted to share this list with you because this was shared with me. And so I'm never looking to keep the information to myself or only pass it on to only my network, even though the bag chasers are the ones that get the majority of the content. Um, these are nine U.S. cities and towns that are paying remote workers up to $20,000 to move there. Now, one of the reasons why this sparked my interest is because I had did a review on MSNBC or CNBC's uh, Make It channel of a worker that had no attachments. He had no children. He had no uh, girlfriend or wife that was tagging along with him. And he was taking advantage of basically living for free, living and working in a specific area. And he was a remote worker. And then he would uh, basically tailor his budget around the idea that he can do what he wanted to do, despite the fact that he didn't have any kind of costs for living in a specific city that was paying him to be there. And so I wanted to share this list with you guys, because I think that this is a good idea for people that are looking to step outside of their comfort zone. And I'm always pushing people to step outside of their comfort zone. I fly to different cities pretty much every single week. This is a rare weekend that I have the opportunity to chill back here in Michigan. Um, and I get to take out my Porsche because I just got my Porsche back today. So, or yesterday, but I want to share this list with you guys and it's U.S. cities and towns paying remote workers up to $20,000 to move there. Hey, before we get started, can you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm? Make sure you subscribe to the channel and then make sure that in addition to that, you turn on your notifications so you know that when I go live, I'm dropping a video. In addition, uh, we have the Patreon and we're doing some phenomenal things in there, including I'm teaching them how to build a business. Um, I'm putting over $100,000 of my mo own money into it. Uh, I give so much game. We got a Discord that's popping in there. Um, and I just dropped the Patreon exclusive probably like, I don't know, three days ago. And so that video will never be released to the public, but I encourage you to deep dive into the content so that you can level up and become the best version of yourself. But let's go through this list really quickly. Um, uh, let me just get straight to the list. I don't want to go through all of that, but uh, Morgantown and Lewisburg. You know what? Let me scroll back up for a minute. It says uh, people of varying skill levels and levels and sectors have chosen this path Adds hock. And if you can do your job at your desk, you can do your job anywhere. And I like to highlight this a lot of times because people think that doing work from home allows for them to either be able to a have more time in their schedule or B they can relax more. And I'm telling you that you should not be relaxing. You should be taking advantage of the opportunities that's before you, but neither here nor there. Here's the top cities and townships that offer, offer hefty incentives to settle in communities as compiled by data from, uh, make my move.com or make my move. Some of them might even have stars, hollow esque towns, commons, and quirky neighbors to befriend. In the words of Carol or Carol King, where you lead, I will follow, especially where it leads. It comes with a $10,000 cash incentive. So let's deep dive into it. One and number two, and I guess that they structure in this list based off of what are the best options. Number one and number two is Morgantown and Lewisburg, West Virginia. So uh, it says in the description that these West Virginia cities have an abundance of hiking and scenic views from a nearby Appalachian Mountains. Um, as John Denver once sang, take me home country roads. Uh, the estimated value of the incentive is this $20,000. And this is what it includes. Okay. Um, it says the people who qualify are applicants with a full-time remote job in a company not based in West Virginia. So if you move there, you can't be working for a company that is there, but you do have to be a remote worker. Okay. So the package is a cash stipend of uh, $12,000 and undisclosed gifts and incentives valued at $8,000. Now, I don't know what these undisclosed gifts and incentives valued at $8,000, but it's gifts and incentives about valued at $8,000. At the very least, let's just say hypothetically, you take the $12,000 and you go and you live in a place and you spend a thousand dollars a month, a month in rent. And I think that a lot of times based off of what I've researched is that a lot of these uh, incentives are based off of the idea that you stay there for a year. So essentially you get to go there, live for free, experience something different. And then you also get to make a bunch of money as a result of it. So all you got to do is take yourself and your computer, do what you do. And then you're living for free and you get to experience something completely different. Me and Rita's goal, and maybe this will lead right up our alley, right? Our goal at some point in our life 
um, basically when Leslie graduates from high school, is to live in a different place every few months based off of if the weather permits. I want to literally live all over the world. And as long as they got a decent internet connection, I don't see why I shouldn't be there. Let's continue. Uh, number three, Greater Rochester, New York, home of some iconic brands and landmarks such as Kodak, Xerox, and Ragu. Uh, National Toy Hall of Fame, one of the most affordable or one of the more affordable cities in New York. The only downside is how snowy it gets in upstate metro. And that can be a plus for, for snowshoeing fans. Estimate value of the incentive is $19,000 who qualifies full-time remote employees who live more than 300 miles from downtown Rochester. Um, so basically you can't live there already in order to get the incentive. You got to come in and let me tell you why these companies want to do this, right? Their incentive is to bring a cash influx of people. And it's the same reason why they incentivize companies to move into it in order to create jobs. And so the more you are inside of that environment, the more likely you are to spend your money, your tax dollars, your afterpay. Um, you get to participate in the economy. You go and you do things and you put money into small businesses and you might meet friends and you might be doing business there. And you might even decide to stay after a while because they're so sure that you actually are going to love this place and getting away from where you're usually at. Once you're there for an extended period of time, that you'll ultimately become a resident, which will be much more profitable to the city coffers. So they're investing in you investing in them so that they can invest in themselves and make sure that they continue to level up. All right. As a city, um, who can work in the U S and are, and are able to relocate within six months of acceptance into the program. Uh, the package is a 10, like $10,000 relocation incentive and $9,000 in home buyer incentives. So they are incentivizing you to stay there long-term because they want you to buy a home there. Now for real estate investors, this could be a great opportunity, but we're going to deep dive Southwest Michigan, less than 200 miles from Chicago, the town of Southwest, which I have never been there, even though I'm in Michigan. I don't think I've ever been there uh, is known for scenic Lake Michigan beaches and large dunes that are visible from space. Sounds like a lot of open space and I'm more of a city guy, but you're going to have to make your own determination as to whether or not this would rock with you. $15,000 value incentive, full time remote workers who work for a employer outside or located outside of Michigan, 10,000 package, $10,000 uh, incentive package um, or mortgage for those who move and purchase a home worth at least $200,000. An extra $5,000 stipend will be offered if applicants child is enrolled in a local public school. So every one of these uh, cities have a different package. If you look at number one and two, and I'm guessing that's why it's at number one and two, um, they basically said, listen, we're going to give you uh, $12,000. And then undisclosed gifts and incentives valued at $8,000. Who the heck knows what that is? Second place said, we'll give you $10,000 relocation incentive and $9,000 of home buyer incentives. Um, or the, the third location. And then the fourth location said that, listen, we're going to give you $10,000 basically towards a mortgage of $2,000 or more. So basically they're going to give you a 5% down payment is that's how I'm translating it. And if you Got a kid in school there, which I don't know why somebody wouldn't put their kid in school with them if they're moving there. So they're incentivizing uh, families. And the one thing that I've learned about families being in real estate is that uh, as a person that is always looking for people with families, because the homes that I have is at least three bedrooms, two to three bedrooms or more, um, you know, families tend to stay longer because they become more invested in what they're doing in the school system. Noble, Noblesville, Indiana. I've never heard of this place before. Just north of Indianapolis, a city boasts of historic downtown and a, a covered bridge dating back to 1870. Sounds dangerous. Um, just messing with y'all. $15,000 incentive. Adults who are eligible to work in the U.S. who have a home located within city limits and are willing to move to Noblesville within six months. So you got six months to do it once you apply to the program and you got to live within the city. A package of $5,000 stipend to use for relocation costs, similar to a regular job, and as well as additional local benefits, including access to a co-working space valued at $3,000, membership to a local golf club at $1,400, and a $500 health and wellness stipend. So it looks like they got uh, local businesses to participate in this thing also, which it shows that they're working with their community. And I have never heard of Noblesville, Indiana, but very interesting. Um, Vermont, capital of Vermont, has beautiful hillsides and hiking trails, as well as thriving arts and culture scene. 
Sounds like a brochure. Uh, no eligibility required as stated as of now. So they don't even have the full package put together, but they say remote workers will be granted up to $5,000 per year, which is the equivalent of a little less than $500 per month over two years. Actually less than that. Sounds like a little bit less than $250 a month. Subsequently, applicants who choose to become full-time employees of a business based in Vermont will qualify up to $7,500. So also sounds like um, they're having a, a problem filling positions within the city. And so they not only want you to come there and move there because you've never considered this place before, but also to stay there and work there, which will make you a part of the fabric of the community. Let's continue. Newton, Iowa, once known as the washing machine capital of the world. <laughs> What? <laughs> this Midwestern city is now the site of Iowa of the Iowa Speedway and home to a thriving arts community. Estimated value of the incentive twelve five. Who qualifies individuals who are buying a home in Newton valued at one hundred ninety thousand dollars or more? Um, and let me tell you why they want you to buy a home because if you buy a home, um, they're going to get that money back anyway. Okay, so it sounds like hey, this is a good deal for you. This is a good deal for us. And they get to get you to pay property taxes every year, which you then become a fabric of the community and then you live, work and play there. OK, uh, a package of ten thousand dollar cash incentive and discounts to local shops worth twenty five hundred dollars. So they basically want to give you ten thousand dollars in cash, buy a home, become a part of the local fabric and so on and so forth. Um, and you don't even have to be a remote worker. I mean, I guess you have to be a remote worker, but you got to be a person that's willing to buy a home. So it don't matter if you're a work remote worker or not. OK. Uh, Harmony, Minnesota. Ooh, sounds cold. Sounds super cold. Underneath this city is a limestone cave with passageways carved uh, carved out of a local steam. Harmony is also home to a 10,000 square foot antique mall and many bike paths. Antique malls do not sound like fun. Malls are dying. Um, who qualify home buyers to the new community? Home buyers new to the community at $12,000 and cash rebates towards buying a new home or renovating a dilapidated structure. Sounds like it's, uh, it's a little sketchy. Maybe we'll start taking it. You know, I want to go on like a city tour of like places that are completely off the radar so that I can get bored and want to leave. Uh, Mattoon, Illinois, a small town with an adorable downtown. Mattoon is also, do every city really got a downtown? Mattoon is also home of the Illinois original Burger King, a local family restaurant that is not associated with fast food chain or the same name. Incentive, 11424. Where did they get this number from? $11,424. Those who live 100 miles from Mattoon and have a household income of $45,000 or more. That's all you got to do? Hmm. Interesting. Uh, oh, we got more. One more. Uh, so it's 10 places. Uh and the package for that place is $5,000 cash to cover moving expenses. You get a year membership at a co-working space and six months of free internet. Among other incentives to visit local stores and businesses. Topeka, Kansas. I've, I've heard of Topeka before. Uh, description is capital city. Ha city has it all. Cute neighborhoods, leafy suburbs, um, a vibrant downtown. Everybody supposedly has a vibrant downtown. And the city has a few notable attractions to visit including the Evil Knievel Museum and the Brown versus Board of Education National Historic Park. Value of the incentive, 11000 who qualifies those who work for an employer outside of Shawnee County are eligible to work in the U.S. and purchase a and purchase or rent a home within a year of the move. Package is $10,000 for renting a home. So basically, it's the same as with, the, with my homeboy in the video that I reviewed is. Or $15,000 to purchase one if new residents work on site in Topeka. $10,000 for renting a home, fifteen dollars to purchase one if new residents work on site in Topeka. So you got to work there. How would they know if you work there or not? Remote workers get $5,000 towards rent and $10,000 towards a home purchase. Uh, those who re relocate get free Jimmy John's. <laughs> If you like Jimmy John's, that is the place for you. So just giving you guys a little bit of insight and information as to the things that I see on a regular basis, because then you can make more informed decisions as to whether or not you can or will move to a place that you normally wouldn't in order, in order to get out of your comfort zone. And I don't care where you go. I think that everybody needs to travel on a regular basis. And if you're getting paid to do so, why wouldn't you? All right. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you hit me up at Anton Daniels. 
413 at gmail.com if you want to get in touch with me for a personal session. I do Zoom calls, phone calls. And then last but not least, um, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. We're doing some phenomenal things in there. It's awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, do me one more favor before you get up out of here, fam. Can you? We don't want to be rich by ourselves. We definitely want to bring you along with us. Share this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit a like for the YouTube algorithm. And then have a phenomenal day. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to talk to you later, friends. Peace.